Hello friends in YouTube land. Um, this is my second video and I'm very excited. I've had the most amazing past few days. And school's about to start in three days. Or less than three days. Anyway, I'm excited because it's my senior year. And who wouldn't be excited to graduate from high school? I mean, really. But anyway, so I promised you a second video because this is a video vlog and um, yeah. So what I wanted to go over was kind of how I came to Wicca and what books will be helpful to you as they've been to me on your journey. I came to Wicca when I was about 14. I was actually in a bookstore, a uh, half price bookstore, and uh, I came across this book. Um, I think it was like the 13 ways to make a witch or something like that. 13 spells or something like that. But it went over all the basics of Wicca. And I was like, whoa. I've never heard of this before because I wasn't raised Christian, but I wasn't raised not to be. I was, I mean, we didn't go to church. The only time I ever heard of church was when I went down to my grandparents. And this was so new to me. And it was really cool because it was a goddess figure. And I had only heard of male deities, male deities. And I'm I'm really big into all the feminist thing. I mean, look, look at my hair. I mean, really. I didn't do this because I'm a lesbian. I promise. I just did it because I like it. But, um, it was just really amazing to me. And from there, a few, no, a few months later, I got my second book, which was Teen Witch by Silver Raven, which I have right here. And, uh, maybe? Anyway, this is Teen Witch. But, and it really helped me sort out everything. And from there, I got excited. And, you know, when you become passionate about something, you just want to move forward and forward and forward. But, you have to be patient. I mean, it took me a long time to get to this point right now. Um, it took me a long time. And I'm still not even done. I don't think anyone's ever done learning. But I know I haven't even scratched the surface. And I'm still, I'm still searching. I'm still going forward. And I will admit that I've, I'm only a dedicate, a student. I have not initiated myself yet because I'm a solitary Wiccan and I haven't been a part of a coven because there's a lot of ageism, but we'll go into that later. Um, but here are a few books that I just want to show you that have been helpful to me. My first book is uh, Wicca, the guide for a Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. Anything by Scott Cunningham, great, amazing, because Scott Cunningham, really knowledgeable, and especially to Solitary Wiccans, really helpful. And also, If You Want to Be a Witch by Eden McCoy. This goes over everything, and it actually really helps you figure out if you want to be a witch or not, because they... She gives, she teaches you all this stuff, and then you go over it again. Like, she asks you a hundred questions, and you have to answer them. Well, you don't have to, but it's really helpful if you do. Anything a book suggests about writing stuff down, write it down. Because writing helps you integrate what you have just learned. A way that listening or um, seeing on a page doesn't. And then... The other book that is really good, amazing, is uh, The Solitary Witch, The Ultimate Book of Shadows, also by Silver Ravenwolf. Silver Ravenwolf is a great author, and I know there's a lot of controversy over her, but we'll get into that later also. And the next book, I've just, I just bought this book, and it is kind of iffy to me, Confessions of a Teenage Witch, Celebrating the Wiccan Life by Guinevere Rain. And it kind of tells Wicca from a personal perspective, like these videos that everyone has made. 
and it is a good insight and a lot of the stuff in there I agree with I just I don't know some authors don't make you feel comfortable and I think you should always stick with the authors that make you feel comfortable and always remember you don't have to agree with everything that is written Eclectic Wicca is always changing, it's always changing form, and it, that's what makes it so amazing. You can personalize it to your life, to um, your own lifestyle, and that's what makes it great. And especially if you're a solitary, because you, if you can't practice, you know, if you can't do a ritual the day of a full moon, you know, I mean, you can do it the next day, and perhaps it might not be as strong, but it is still great. And I think the best part about me finding Wicca, and I don't know about any of you out there in YouTube land, but it is finding the goddess and her helping me through my life. And that's, I find the most beautiful part. Seeing her in every aspect of my day and little reminders to know that she's here. We are all gods and goddesses incarnate. And that's the important part. So, if you have any questions or any comments, I am welcome. I am so welcome to constructive criticism. So, please just message me, leave comments. Um, so, toodles. Blessed be.